Hello everybody, Ray Garrett here. I am so glad to be bringing you this particular session around the agent website. Now we discussed briefly in the former video about the site as, as it pertains to the to the agent, the agent facing side, how to set the site up and all that. This video is going to be the consumer facing side. Now, uh, we, we discussed briefly in the last video also what this consumer site looks like to somebody who isn't registered. And when they go to, when they go to do anything on the site other than search for home, meaning they save a home or whatever, it forces them to register in order to do that. And that's how they become leads. But, uh, as we look here, we're going to start by them being registered and them being signed up so they have all of the privileges of the website by having registered so you can see some of those features. Okay? So let's go down and just kind of dive down. Now I will start by saying that we are not going to get anywhere near done here. You know, we will uh, we will give you a good basic primer on what it looks like, but there's a lot to learn about this website. The best way to learn it is just to go in and play around with it, coldbanker.com. So now we're on the website. Uh, this particular uh, client is signed in in Oak Harbor, Washington. So. I can just do a basic search from the home page. We can just do a basic search and that home page will allow me to do that. But what I am, um, so I'm, I'm already here. You can see what the basic search is, but I was already on this page. So I'm going to, I've already got all my stuff signed up, signed here. So, uh, let's go in and take a look. I'm going to search right now just in Oak Harbor. I'm not going to narrow all of that stuff down. So let's, uh, Let's just do a basic search. You can see here my agent appears over on the side over there. And the first thing it brings me to is just a map view. I can switch to list view if I like, if I'm if I'm if it's better if I look at it this way. But we'll stay in map view for right now. Once we go over in map view, you can see here that uh you know the area size is is just located here, but it says results in map view show them. So right now I've just got Oak Harbor, but if I wanted to expand that, I can expand that all around. The listings appear over here, so as I mouse over something over here, it shows me where it is on the map. I can go in, I can draw on the map. You basically anywhere I click here is going to be where I draw, and I can just look at I look at properties there. Um, So, you know, I've got lots of ways that I can go about uh, taking a look at properties on the site. Now, what I would like to do, let's say now that I've got it here, um, now that I've got this narrowed down just this boundary here, I'd like to, I'm just going to go into the map view here, I'd like to go in and make some changes here. So I want to say that anything that's under, let's go uh, 500,000, I can get my mouse to work here. Let's say 600. Up, oh, wrong side. Okay, and we'll say we want three beds, we want two baths, and that's the main one. So we'll go ahead and search that and take a look and see what we got. Now, um, it looks like it reverted back there, so let's just change that to any and try that one more time. And now we've got anything under 600,000 in this particular map view here. That didn't quite narrow it down as far the, as far as I would like to narrow it down though. So let's take a look and see what else we can do as far as narrowing this down a little bit. I'm going to go to more filters. And here under more filters, I've got all kinds of ways that I can, well, I can narrow this down. And you'll find that many of these filters here uh, they, you know, created advanced search. I can search by city. I can search by zip code, neighborhood, subdivision even. I can go down that far. There are just lots of filters here that I can go on. I'm not going to go over all of them. You guys can, you know, kind of figure that out. Uh, but there are some, you know, we got garage spaces. Uh, and then community pool has deck. I can reset if I need to. So we've got lots of, uh, we've got lots of just particular, just in very particular things that I can search for keyword search. Now most sites are like that. This is nothing nothing new. But I will show you some things that I think are very unique about this site. 
So let's go in and just do a proximity search. This specifically around relocation, I think this is pertinent because what will happen is a lot of times people will come in and they'll move to an area specifically for a job. And I don't know about you, but I don't like to commute like an hour and a half when I have to work somewhere. So maybe I want to be within a few miles of where I work, uh, where my job is going to be. But I don't know the area. I don't know the neighborhoods, but I know that I want to live within a few miles. And then I can rely on my agent. So I go in and I change this proximity search. I want to say within five miles and then I put my street address in there and I hit search. Not only is that going to search around around that address, but the what it's also going to do is 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 show me every time I click on a property how far that address is away from that specific uh specific place that I you know that I like to that, that I'm that I'm saving, you know. So um you can have multiple places on here saved too. I think you can have, uh, let's see if anybody, see if I've saved one. I haven't saved one yet because I don't know anywhere in Oak Harbor. But let's just, let's just put in an address here. Uh, I've got one saved. It just so happens. So let's just go in and, and just so I can just demonstrate this to you. Got Washington and then we'll go here. And uh, let's just fix that, fix that and save address in my places hit search now and then uh, then that's going to show me everything within five miles of that particular address which of course is a lot of stuff you know because it's the small island that we're talking about here but in general you get the basic idea and you can narrow that down if you need to now when I click on one of these things it's going to show me if I can bring up the property record actually let me just go into list view to show you this There we go. So when I go in here, it's going to show me certain things. I get to see the popularity of the record. I'm looking at the listing here. Now this is a very popular listing, probably because the price is a little low, you know. Uh, but it's got some acreage to it on this little island here, so it's a uh, it's probably a pretty desirable place. And and even though it kind of looks, it doesn't look like maybe what you and I would say would be a you know <laughs> desirable home. But we've got um, my saved places. And it shows me right here, it's 1.8 miles away from my saved place. So it is within the realm. And it's recently sown homes nearby this property is shown here in this listing as well. So get in here and play around. I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm going to have time to go in and show you every aspect of the website. But I just want to hit the high spots for you. Okay. Now, some other things that you might find interesting is, um, so there, there are a number of searches that we can do that, are, that I find interesting on the system. So, for instance, if I go in and I search for, go in and find my property address here. So, let's say that I am searching for my property address, like for my personal home. And I'm not buying a home right now, but a nice real estate agent came and knocked on my door and just told me about this service. And I thought that, you know what, yeah, it might be nice to get updates with listings around my property. So all I need to do is go in and put my property in here once I'm registered and I hit search. And what the system will do is it will find my property. See, this is not on the market right now. It's off market. It's not on the market. But what I can do is I say get home value updates. And what this does is just send, it lets me follow this home. And what I'll do is I'll get, not only will I get changes in value estimates, like from Zillow, and I mean, up Zillow's estimate and all those other things, but I'll also get, um, I'll also get notifications whenever something is listed uh, in the general vicinity of this particular home. And I'll get, when things are sold, I'll get updates. And that will come from you, the agent, and or your agent. So really, really cool tool there that agents might want to get involved with now you can request an appointment from this place so for instance if I want to if I'm maybe thinking about selling this home I can request appointment here and my information is automatically in here uh, may want to list soon can you come out and take a look so I can do that I can request appointment now that brings us to the really third thing that's so important about about the way these websites work. They are synced 
And I, that's a word that I would really suggest remembering is sync. What happens is, is that the mobile app, the desktop website, and the agent are all synced and working in harmony to help the client purchase a, purchase a new home or find the home of their dreams. And that no other site is like that. There are other sites that give you the syncing of the website there uh, and the mobile app. There's other sites that give you maybe an agent is involved but they doesn't have the website of the mobile offerings this has everything it has a great mobile app it has a great website and it's synced with your agent so the more you search on the site the more the agent learns about what you're looking for and by way by the way an agent can log in as client and an agent gets tra gets information on what the client is searching for daily so the agent is able to better serve the client and those are the main selling points i think for this site but by all means, please get in there and play around with it and let us know what you think. Again, thank you so much. This is Ray Garrett again, and as always, I'm here for your questions. Have a great day.